Hi everyone. Okay, so we are going to do a nice yoga yoga fit style workout today. So it's going to start with some nice stretches and then we're going to go into a little bit of a pulse raiser and then we're going to come back down into doing some more stretches to finish off. So it's going to work a little bit on your posture and it's going to fire up the legs and work into the core muscles as well. So start off with yourself in a seated position and then from here just give me three shoulder rolls so just placing the hands onto the knees go three and then change forward for three and then place the hands just to the side of the mat lift your bum up place it back down and then just give your hips a little shift side to side from here, think about tipping the tailbone under, so we're just putting the, the bum kind of closer to the ground and then drawing the shoulders up and back, suck in from the belly button and just relax the shoulders down. And then place hands over to one knee, keep the spine nice and tall and just do a small rotation. Deep breath in and exhale. As you exhale, come round to the other side. Place hands on the outside of the knee, nice tall spine, twist to the other side. Inhale and exhale. We're going to go one more time each side. So just float the arms round. Just see if you can rotate a tiny bit more. Deep breath in, exhale, sweep round to the other side. Get that rotation, don't push it. Pull up and in from the belly as you come into the center, draw the shoulders back, sweep the arms all the way forward and just hinge from the hips to come down. Let the head relax, let the elbows relax, let the shoulders relax. Deep breath in, sweeping one arm up, place one hand onto the ground, just get a little torso stretch. And then push off the ground over to the other side. Just windmill the arms over. And relax the shoulders, lift up out of the hip bone and twist to the other side. And over and get that stretch. Now come on to all fours. Place the knees just underneath hip bones, hands underneath shoulders and we're just going to go into some up cat down cat so just pushing from the ground all the way up so the shoulders open tuck the chin in and then open up the heart bring the spine don't over flex here still draw in that center line of the stomach muscles as you come up Keep the head and neck in line with the shoulders and then just switch between the two. Inhale and exhale in. And then from here, we're just going to lift up the right arm only. Make sure the back is nice and straight and not moving those hips. And then lift the left. Now go for your right leg, kick back. And then draw it in and then left side kick back. Push out with the heel, squeeze the bum, bring the left knee in. Take your left arm out and your right foot. We're going to go for three knee tucks to opposite hand. So we're going to go for one. So right leg, left hand, two. Don't move those hips. Three. And change side, lift up the right arm left leg kick back draw it in for one pull the belly in two kick back with the heel three take the legs wide and then just stretch back and then reach the arms forward just go into a nice child's pose now you can have the knees quite wide here you can have them narrow just go wherever it feels comfortable and just shift the hips side to side and then coming up onto your heels and just rotate through the wrists so if that's too much on your heels then just sit onto your bum legs crossed and we're just going to grab hold of well, not hold but push down one side for the wrist and then change hands because we're going to start the first round of exercises into 
high plank knee tucks and then take the hand back and then just have a little stretch out of the upper back muscles and then just come up again open up from the side and then over to the other side and then come back onto all fours so how we're going to do today's workout we're going to go for 20 seconds on 10 seconds rest and we're going to do that with all of the exercises today so it's known as tabata training so it's a type of interval training so you're getting your heart rate up have a small rest and then heart rate goes up again brilliant for increasing the metabolism getting a nice afterburn as well so the first exercise we're going to be on hands and knees your option here is to take the left leg out so you'll see here my back is an arch up or down i've got that mid center point drawing up through the stomach muscles we're going to take the left leg out and we're going to draw the knee in and then arch the back up kick back and arch we're going to go for 20 seconds the same leg do it a couple of times through and then we're going to build up to doing it on plank on hands so that will look like on your hands you're going to bring the knee in arch the back and then kick the foot up and then knee in and back Okay, so everyone's starting on the knees. And we're going to go left side only for four rounds. And then we'll go over to the right. So we're going to go in 10 seconds time. So hands are wide, making sure body weight goes through the fingers. And then come up onto the hands and knees. Kick out with the left heel. Draw it in, push from the ground kick out so we're sucking in from the belly here we're still warming up the body the leg goes nice and straight back and we're working the leg and then try and keep hips nice and balanced and still so we're not kind of pivoting over to one side have a little rest a little shake out we're going to go again in three two one stay on the knee or if you want to progress up here into plank on hands you can just draw up from the belly small movements kicking out with that heel still on the left leg and rest sit back so now is your chance if you want to progress up we're going to go to plank on hands making sure the body weight is over the shoulders but the wrists aren't completely flexed forward so up we go plank on hands suck in and kick back suck in and kick breathe out as the knee comes in breathe in as the leg goes up keep it going you're probably used to doing double leg mountain climbers and rest now we're just getting one side of the core working one side of the body of that shoulder of the hip and let's go last round plank on hands knee tuck in kick back body weight forward and kick get the leg nice and straight if you can we're stretching out the glutes we're stretching out the hamstrings breathing out as the knee comes in and rest shake up the wrist so we're going to go again now we're going to change leg we're going to go for the right leg on to hands and knees, two rounds hands and knees, and push back, draw uh, the belly in, shoulders, stretch, kick back. Make sure hips are stacked and you're not twisting to one side. Belly in and push, exhale, inhale, and stop. So go into round two for the right leg. You can stay on the knee with me or come up onto the plank on hand you pick your level ready and go so fingertips are gripping the floor so we're protecting those wrists in and kick stacking shoulders and rest two more rounds to go for this right leg And up we go, plank on hands, if you're coming with me, knee in, kick back, high plank and single leg down dog. Push back. 
body weight forward, inhale, exhale, the knee comes in. And inhale up, stop, one more round to go. Should be feeling that nice little burn in the legs now and the shoulders. Three, fill up the lungs, two, one, let's go. Last round, can you open up a bit higher? Knee in, push back. Keep strong through the legs and the shoulders. Ragnar's joined in with me now. Keep it going. One more knee tuck and stop. Sit yourself onto the floor. Bring the legs forward. And then from here, you're going to lift one leg up, take it across, and just go for a, a nice little side twist. Unravel. Leg down, other one over and twist. So we're going to come up into standing now. But to begin with, I'm just going to stay on the floor and we're just going to do a few hip opening exercises. So onto hands and knees, take your leg, one leg forward. I'm taking my right leg forward. Um, so it's kind of like the back leg to what you're seeing um, on the screen. So take one leg forward and then just pull the body forward to get this hip flexor stretch through the front of the thigh. And then be nice and tall through the torso. Now to take your bum back, uncurl the back toe if you feel you need to and just straighten out the leg to get the hamstring stretch. And then draw the body forward, come forwards. Can you go for a little bit more, relax the back foot. And then hinge back, hamstring stretch. And then come forward again. Take the knee back, change legs. So now my left leg's forward, so the leg closer to the, you guys. And then I'm just dragging the body forward to stretch out the front of the hip. Don't over stretch here, okay? Just go to where you need to, we're still warming up. Un Flex the back foot, so we're on our toe to come back for that hamstring stretch. And this is where you'll find one side is going to be tighter than the other. And then forward again. Let the foot relax. And then go back onto the heel, stretch out that hamstring. Forward one last time, and then we're going to come up to the stand. Curl up. From the back foot, so the back knee comes up here, so we're in a high lunge, and then bending the knee, and then just coming forward, and then really slowly unravel all the way up to stand. So we're going to go for lunges and squats now. So it's going to be single leg again, so we're going to go for the left leg round for four rounds, and then we're going to go right leg for four rounds. So hands are going to be on hips, we're going to tuck under from the tailbone, you're going to take the knee back to a lunge and we're going to do a small squat and then come up and open up the hips, squeezing the glutes, okay? We're going to go in 10 seconds time, stick on the left leg for me, on the next beep we're going. Hands on hips, three, two, one. Step back, keep this leg slightly bent, go down, open up here. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you don't have to get the knee as low as mine, but just work on getting the leg back, opening the chest at the top, and stop. Have a little shake out of the legs. That's our first round of 20 seconds done. We're gonna go in three, two, one, belly tight, step all the way back, inhale, squat, exhale, take it back, lunge, small squat, up, good, keep going, stay strong in the legs, one more, and shake out, you should be starting to feel a slight burn now, option is to go up onto the toes, 
when we get up and out of that squat. Let's go, lunge, inhale, exhale here. Back, squat, up. Open up that chest. Balance. One more. And rest. I'm gonna go into our last one for left leg. And now you've got the option to do a jump at the top. Three, two, one, go. Leg back. Here. Are you gonna hop? Land soft. It's one leg only. This poor right leg should be feeling it. One more. And rest. Change side. So I'm just gonna change the other way, but you're gonna change to your right leg now. Stay in static. Let's go. Back lunge, right leg. Squat, up and out, squeeze glutes. Lunge, squat, open chest. Every time you come up into this position, really think about drawing up through the belly button. Stop. Gonna go again. Now you can come up onto the toes if you feel you want to. Let's go, inhale, exhale here. Really empty the lungs at that top position. Fill up the lungs on the down position. Using the arms. One more. Good, stop. And again, two more rounds, right leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Can you step wider and longer as you go back, all the way back to the edge of the mat? How's the balance? And we've got one more round to go. This is where I want you to jump. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge back, arms high. And exhale here. Inhale. Let the arms come up with that jump. Three, two, one. And you are done. Well done. Shake out the legs. We're going to go for some single leg balance, single leg deadlifts now. So we're going to do a few rounds of these just to stretch out. So if you've got a wall near you or a chair, you can use that as balance. Top leg is going to, sorry, top leg, the right leg, my back leg, is going to go back. I'm going to hinge the foot back, straighten out my left, and then come up to a high knee. We're just going to go for 20 seconds each time, twice through on the same leg. So left leg down, right leg up. Draw in from the belly, soft knee of this standing leg, flex the foot, kick out, eye line to the ground, and then come up nice and slow with high knee. Keep it going, same leg. So as I say, you can hold onto a chair, you can hold onto a wall. Don't grip the chair <laughs> or the wall, just use it for assistance. Three, two, one. Flex the ankle, same side. Soft knee. Can you go a little bit deeper? Now don't hover, where you go. Don't hover in that low position. Keep it quite nice, fluid motion, kicking back, coming up. If you tend to stay there for too long, you might balance and um, go off balance. Three, two, one, now we're gonna change sides. So right foot down, give the ankle a little shake of that left. Draw belly in, soft knee. And let's go, 20 seconds on the right leg, kicking the left back, drawing the left up and in. Now if the drawing the knee in is too tough, then just place the toe down in between each rep. So we're here, 
and place the toe down. So we're using the stomach muscles and the hip flexors to lift that knee. And stop, we've got one more on the right leg. Last time, three, two, one, knee up, kick back. Can you go continuous now for the 20 seconds? Feel the stretch in the back of the leg, soft knee. Two more. And rest, well done, take the legs wide. Now we're gonna go for 20 seconds of little pulses down. So toes are just out slightly. We're gonna open up through the hips, let's go. We've had no rest in between those balance and this. Keep going, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Knee forward, stretch out the back of the legs. We're gonna go again, a little bit more range now in these squats. Try and tap the ground, or as close to the ground as you can go, and then come up. So we're squeezing these inner thighs. Tailbone is almost like tucked under, so we're taking the torso directly down. And up. Out, and in. Last one. And rest. Two more sets. I'm gonna go in three, two, one. A little bit lower now, tap all the way down and reach up high. Get the upper body moving. Again, open up that chest. Take it down and reach. Three, two, one. And the last set now we're gonna do is going to be continuous pulses for 20 seconds, but you're gonna get lower than the round one. Three, two, one, let's go low and pulse it out. Body weight's in the heels. Keep your neck relaxed. Keep squeezing. Don't stop, this is where the burn hurt like gets in there. You've got to fight through it, you've got six seconds. Three, two, one. Straighten the legs, let the hands come down, soft knees, and then just take the body side to side to stretch out those legs and then come to the edge of your mat and then from here stand tall come up arms up let's do some rocks from heel to toe from all the way up into tiptoes and then stick the bum back let's get the stretch of the back of the legs so all the way down exhale down inhale as you create a nice flat back and open up through the chest but you're still stretching the legs so inhale as you come up look up slightly exhale fold again all the way down try and get your chest to your thighs make sure the knees are bent it doesn't matter if your knees are really bent here it's just getting that forward tilt walk down into plank on hands go for 10 alternative single leg knee tucks Let's go, 10, nine, eight, stay really straight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the knees down, take them down wide, take your bum back, um, flex the feet, let the feet relax and stretch. And then come all the way forward, Arms wide, stay on the knees here, take your chest down. I'm just gonna do five press ups for one. So I'm hinging from the knees. Good, three, four, go for one more. And all the way back. We're gonna come back to do another set of those, so not over yet. So you're gonna turn onto your bum. We're gonna go for some V sit crunches here. So I. I'm just gonna pivot round so you can kind of see the position of both my hands, hopefully. So I'm gonna take the hands just by my bum. 
I'm going to bend the elbows so the elbows are sweeping back. I'm going to relax my neck and shoulders. And I'm just going to come back with the fingers down and lift the feet up and flex the feet. And from here, we're going to do 20 seconds just taking the heel to the ground. Okay? So if that's too much, taking one leg down at a time, then uh, go for just a hold. So I'm getting my timer ready. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Okay, relax shoulders back. So we've got a nice C shape at the base of the spine. Keep nice and strong through the core muscles. So legs up 90 degrees. You can flex the feet here. Either hold or take one heel down at a time. So the movement at the moment is coming from the hip joint. So it's not just coming from the knee, we're going from the hip. And let the legs go straight, fold forward. And then come up again, hands onto the ground, legs up, either hold or start with me. We're taking it down from the hips. Now, if that is too much in the back, you can always lay completely flat and then go for your toe taps while your back is down. Okay, one more round. Fold over to the feet. And then come up, hands back, legs up. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come forwards. Nice back stretch. And then come back again into C shape base of spine. Now, can you get the legs a little straighter here? Keep holding the upper body. Pull in from the belly button. If not, stay here. Can you hold for five, four, three, two, slowly down, and then go forwards. So the next set of exercises we're going to do are going to be those press-ups that we just warmed up into previously. So you can pick your level here. You can stay into, starting into the uh, child's pose, and then coming forward, and you can carry on with your presses here as we've done before, or you can come all the way up onto your toes and then go for your press-ups. Here, you can pick, okay? So we're gonna go four seconds. Three, two, I'll do a mix up of the two. So I'm gonna start on the knees, I'm gonna pivot it down and then push back. So you'll see my hands are kind of in line with my chest here, they're not too forward. And I'm taking the arms wide, pitching the shoulder base, very tight. Keep going. And then all the way back, stretch out. Okay, where you go in three, two, one. Second lock, 20 seconds. Now if you're going for the full press, keep the legs wide to the corner of the mats because then the, your feet and knees are going to be in position when we go for our rest. And knees down, take yourself all the way back. Come all the way forward. Try, if you want to, get the hands a little bit narrow and let the elbows sweep past the upper back. Don't have to go full range, just building up. Just strengthen the arms and the shoulders. Bum back, one more round to go. So pick where you want to be. In three, two, one, and go. So hold the toes or on the knees. Even if you try a couple of reps on the toes and then drop down to the knees, 
if you do this workout a couple of times, you can just progress up to it. And then take your bum all the way back and have a stretch. Okay, sit back, relax the wrists. And then just come into a 30 second plank on elbows. So we onto the elbows, feet come untucked, lifting the knees, let's go, 30 seconds. Draw your tailbone under, pull in from the waist, pulling in belly button up. If you find that your back's arching here, just think of that pelvic tilt. Or if you find your bum's coming up and it's just hurting your back, drop to the knees but try and get the back nice and straight. Keep going, we're going to go for five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Come up onto your hands and then go into a downward facing dog. So we're just going to create a nice V shape from the upper body all the way up to the bum and then down the legs and then one leg at a time. Just stretch out the calf muscles, taking the heels down. Bend the knees here, an option to step in, squat and come up, or bend in the knees and you're going to jump forward and come up. We're going to finish with 10 of these. So it's kind of like a burpee in there. So we're going to get the knees nice and wide as we come down. So we're opening up the hips. Hands down. You can either step back, plank, bend the knees, Jump in, stand, open chest. Okay, let's go. That was your number one. Stay strong. So you can step or step in and squat up. Show you the different variations. Keep going. Keep squeezing every muscle in the leg here. Or you can jump out, jump in and squat. Let's go four more. If this is too much and you've achieved five, then just continue with that child's pose until I'm done. One more, keep going, jump in, stand, and then have a little shake out. Well done. Let's cool down. Take the legs wide. Give the hips a little shake. Finish with a bit of a pulse raiser there. Take the body over to one side, forearm onto knee. Place the hand into the centre. Just open up the hip and then the inner side of the hamstring of the leg that's straight. Switch sides. Over to the other side. And then into the centre, bring the feet in and then bend in the knees. We're going to go down into a low squat here. So if you want to stay up here and then just open up the thighs here, depends on your flexibility, or come all the way down and then place the hands together and just open up the thighs. So pick where you need to be. And then from here, we can just plonk the bum down and then taking the legs forward, lifting your bum up, place the pelvis down. Three shoulder rolls back. Deep breath in, slowly exhale, three forward. Lifting the arms up. Keeping that position, just fold over the legs. So the crown of the head is in line with the bottom part of the spine and then bring the arms down so the hands are just either side of the leg. Try not to completely just collapse over and lose all tension through the upper body. You still want to create that tension. So keeping the spine in a neutral position. Bring your right leg into the inside of the left leg and then reach towards the left side, left, left foot. Lift up the right arm and just open up the torso. Keep holding. Give the wrists a nice little flexion here. 
and then change side, right leg forward, left foot in, open up the hip, right hand to right foot, and then come up and over. So you're gonna find one side of the back maybe a bit stiffer, a bit tighter than the other side. Again, loosen off the wrist. Come all the way forward. Bring yourself up onto your hands and knees. Relax the feet, push your shins into the mat. Come up and down. Up cat, down cat. Bring right leg forwards. Drag the body forwards. Can you get a little bit closer here to the ground than when we did it at the beginning? And then go all the way back onto the hamstring stretch. And then walk forwards, change side, bring the left leg forwards, open up the right hip. Dragging that body and then go all the way back onto the heel. And if again, if you're up here, that's absolutely fine to feel that stretch. Don't completely collapse the kneecap, so you want to have a slight bend. It's all about that hinge forward from the hips. And then from here, lay onto your back for a nice little twist to finish. Hugging the knees and take the knees side to side. A little rock. Bring the arms out into a W, either side of you. And then lifting knees up to 90 degrees. And then just go over to one side. Let your body completely relax. And let the top leg here just go forward over the knee. And just get that nice side bend stretch. Stack the knees on top of each other, bring the legs up, and then take your body over to the other side. If you get any clicks and clunks here, it means we've mobilised the spine slightly, releasing some little air pockets. And then feel that stretch upside of the body from the armpit to the hip. Again, the top leg, if you want to let it go straight, let it go straight. Deep breath in, and then just breathe out, let the body relax into the ground. And then bringing knees into the centre. And then just rocking up, place the hands behind the knees. Just give the spine a nice massage on the floor. And then can you come up into that V-sit, what we were doing in the workout. And one more. And we are done. Well done everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll be doing a few more of these workouts. So if you've got any comments or anything, just let me know. Um, some feedback would be great of how the body's feeling afterwards to when you first started. And I will see you all soon. Bye.